Hello everyone and welcome back to Rose Gale Sandbox. We're back again and I'm loving coming back here every week so I think, I hope, this is going to continue. If you didn't see it in our last episode we made this absolutely gorgeous station. If you didn't see it I'd highly recommend checking it out. But today I want to do something which a couple of you guys have been suggesting. So I'm talking about this comment here. And this person said we should put an engine shed on the narrow gauge railway. And that is my plan. That is what I'm planning on doing. So first we need to take this platform end back a little bit. Now I'm just extending these out so the platform continues all the way. And finally we can delete the buffers from here because we are not going to need these anymore. And for a little bit I just want to continue these tracks. First thing to do is to copy over the ballast again from the main line. And because the narrow gauge trains can have a shorter turn radius I'm just going to shorten this down um, as I start to build the turn. There we go the turn is in so now I just need to add a little bit more ballast for the station. We might also need to extend these base plates as well. But the other thing I want is for this track to continue on a little bit so we can have an engine shed. I have to say I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough room for switch tracks and points to get four tracks into this engine shed but this is this is sort of the layout I want to have. So now I think it's time for a bit of track. So I think I can squeeze one cross track in over here. Obviously we just need to straighten this out a little bit. We might have to rethink what's going on here. Can I get a crossover to sit on this slope? That might be the answer to the problem. And now I've done that I can have space for the points up here. Okay so this is the layout I've got for the points, the switches and all that kind of stuff so hopefully I can make this work but uh, we, we shall see and there we go I really don't think that turned out too bad at all we've got the station here crossovers here this is where the tracks are gonna go into the engine sheds and then we've got the point coming in here and then a crossover here uh, and then that just continues on with the normal line. So before we go on and start building some buildings and all that kind of stuff, there's one quick thing I want to do, and that is continue with the signaling. Now, our previous signals are all the way over here. Before that, they're here. There's one there, there's one here. There they are. And then you've got one at the ends of these stations here. We probably have got two more signal blocks to add in. The first one, I think we can add sort of around this area. The second lot we definitely need either side of this station platform and I think we can add the third pair by the engine shed. Also there was one thing that annoyed me when I came over here and that is that all of this track does not have ballast so let me go and do that really quickly. Okay you know what I got a little bit carried away um, but here's the ballast I added some hills I've just sort of merged this in with the terrain a little bit more and it's looking so so much better. I definitely feel like beginnings of this map are starting to look a little bit outdated compared to my build style currently so maybe that's something to do on stream maybe I'll come back and I will update all of this maybe fill in all of this as well because we've got some gaps that haven't been completed yet so I've just started off with some pillars then I've added a lower wall and now I need to make some sort of window design that I can repeat along and yeah this is probably going to take me ages because I want this to be small intricate and I want it to have an arch well again that took me a hell of a lot longer than I would have liked it to um, but we now have a window design that I can copy all down this side and all down that side. I have to say that is that is really looking good. So now we need a bit of wall above the windows and no I'm not going to take it that high and this is the same with the entrances to the shed as well and to be honest at the back here I'm not going to do anything fancy whatsoever I'm just going to close it up because you know I don't have to put details from all angles. What I am going to do however is bring these pillars back and also place them at intervals between the windows. Now this is going to be where the roof starts and I don't think I'm going to be doing anything too crazy. I think just a nice slope roof will be okay to be honest and there we have our engine shed yes I could go absolutely crazy on the details but we have a file size a frame limit and a time limit to work towards and there are other things I want to do today so my thought is that the road that comes up from here that we said we're going to a t-junction onto a sort of more main road would come down here down the hills and come along the train track like this and we could have some houses along here and I think that would make this area look really really nice. I'm So I'm staying within the slope 
of the ground and I'm turning this round to come up this way. At some point I do need to level this out because we do need to start heading upwards. In fact, I think this is the perfect time to do so. You know what? That slope has worked absolutely perfectly. Look at how smooth this road is. Now I do need to curve this road round a little bit because it's probably going to be interacting with the station over here somehow. Okay, so that transition between flat and going down was uh, quite a lot more challenging than I thought it would be so I'm 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 happy with that but yeah the road I think I think this road network is uh, is really coming together and uh, yeah now I think this area is ready for some houses so obviously the houses are on a flat terrain and this is on a slope so I'm gonna need to do some work in trying to get the transition between the driveways and the roads to look good but you know I think it's possible and I will always give it a go things like this I really really enjoy because because now we're starting to get some organic garden shapes and all that. As I sort of merge these buildings together, I think it's going to start to look really, really nice. All right, and now I've got the three houses in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take their base layer. And now I'm just going to start to slope these out so that the terrain sort of starts to work with the road a little bit. And we blend everything in. Again, that took an absolute age. I'm not even kidding. This has taken so long. But you know what? It's all smoothish into itself. There's there's a lot there's a lot less gaps. I think it's looking better. Okay, so now I need to connect up the driveways to the roads. This shouldn't be too hard. Cross my fingers. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't too bad, I'll admit. Um and apart from the fact that some of these driveways are ridiculously steep to get up on, um it looks it looks okay I'm, I'm 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 happy it's decent um i am i am gonna put a pavement along this side though and i don't think there's a better time than to use this pavement texture okay so the pavement is in so i'm going to add in some more of these mounds to fill in this space a little bit make it look a little bit more organic i have to say but i don't know why or how but these circles have really made this area come together first of all though uh we need to add the white lines to this road you know what that didn't take as long as I thought it would and I think it's paid off because that is looking so so nice now this whole area I'm really I wasn't really sure how it was going to come together but I think I think it's I think it's coming together really well so I think there are three more things I need to do the first being adding a fence along the side of the train tracks just so people walking along the road they can't get onto the narrow gauge bit right this is gonna take it's gonna take a while so i'll see you guys in a minute have to say that fence is looking really good and i definitely think that will keep pedestrians safe from the train tracks the last thing that i have to do really is to just place a bunch of trees vegetation get this place looking alive um and then that will be it for today so there we go what do we think this new stretch of um of track is looking really 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 nice i've i'm i did not expect this to turn out this nice i'm not gonna lie um in the next episode i'll be completing up here so finishing the station maybe adding some more houses maybe a couple shops we'll see um and then after that we are going to continue onwards this way and i have got when i say i've got some good plans i've got some good plans so you're not going to want to miss that anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.